Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ken. This is Eric. This is Dex. This is Ken. And this is Alter Apex Radio. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Alter Apex Radio. We are the band Alter Apex, and welcome to our weekly band hang where we get together, have a beer, listen to some great new music that we've been discovering. Make sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell below to stay up to date with our videos. Follow the Alter Apex Radio playlist on Spotify. We have tons of great bands that we've been discovering throughout during this show, and we think that you would love all the music that's on there. So check that out. So like Ken said, we are the band Alter Apex. We play grungy type music. You can follow us on Instagram at Alter underscore Apex. Um, we're also on Facebook and Twitter. So go ahead and find us on there. Stay up to date with the haps of what we got going on. All right. And now we're going to do a quick segment called Alexa Asks Random Questions. I'm all set with the beer, but I've got a random question. All right. So this first one is for Dex. Alexa, ask a random question. Here's a question for you. What is the weirdest thing you have seen in someone else's home? Random. God, it, it feels like it's been forever that I've actually been in someone else's home. You know, <laughs> right? like, yeah. I, can't, I can't even really can't even really think of like anything <laughs> that's like questionable or weird. You know, like uh, I'm pretty sure we all have like weird and questionable things in our home. But uh, those are probably not displayed <laughs> anywhere <laughs> they're probably <laughs> locked away in a closet in the master bedroom <laughs> <clears throat> if you stumble on those you're definitely snooping that's for sure <laughs> actually uh in my biological father's closet i went in there he asked me to go get something for him one time i i went in there and i saw a it was just like it almost just looked like a, a piece of concrete like a little like a brick and i was like you, you taking up masonry work anytime soon you know what's going <laughs> on you know like and uh he's he said no it's actually part of uh, uh the berlin wall oh wow oh cool so, yeah so when it was coming down he was living in germany and he got himself a, a piece of it my goodness that is so crazy wow. that's awesome yeah i don't think any of us are going to have that cool of an answer. <laughs> um, random question for you. This one's for Ken. Here's a question for you. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? I agree, I travel the world and the seven... Well, I always wanted to go to Australia, mate. So I'll go there. <laughs> you sound like Coda. the Outback guy. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that where Coda's from? Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, I can go hit him up. Hit him up. You can go surfing or something. I can't surf for shit. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a good excuse. You live in New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you live in New Mexico and you're a great surfer, you are not happy. <laughs> Here's one for Eric. Here's a question for you. What is the least sexy name you have ever heard? I don't know how to answer that. The least sexy name? Oh my! Like, is this something I was called, or like just? <laughs> A name that's not sexy. Oh, dude. Liberty, my friend. You can <laughs> whatever, whatever comes to mind. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go there, man. I, you know, I, I uh... you know, my first thought was Bertha. <laughs> Bertha. <laughs> this is kind of a hard one, man. I don't really know you if I have a one? response to that. Yeah, do over. One. We yeah, we at least it. get one do over, right? Hey, this is a dumb question. Here's a question for you. If someone asked to be your apprentice and learn all that you know, what would you teach them? I could teach them every word to NWA straight out of Compton. <laughs> that would be because... a great movie montage right there, bro. <laughs> like somebody becomes your apprentice and like the all right, the first thing I've got to teach you is, and then you guys are in a car and you're like teaching them. <laughs> Okay, that's random. <laughs> All right, here I go. That. Here's a question for you. Would you rather be the best player on a horrible team or the worst player on a great team? Ooh. Oh, that's easy, dude. 
Oh yeah, I'd much rather be the worst player on a great team. I'm actually pretty used to that. And when it comes to sports, so like I mean, if you're surrounded by people who are making you win, you're just kind of like, we still won. Ken's like, I'm it's actually like being used like, to that be- because of this band. Oh, that stings. Oh, oh. oh. that hurt my heart. <laughs> like I'm the news. guy that like I'm guys the guy that the school project you know that everybody complains like shit about because like he didn't do any work but they all get it done and we get an A. <laughs> yeah. Every group has one of those, bro. <laughs> so so who is it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, do you like music? So this first uh, this first band is called In Heat. Uh, the name of the song is Bow Down. And I actually came across these dudes because they requested me on Instagram just a couple of days ago. Um, you know, I, I have my profile set to private, so I don't always accept every invite because I do share a lot of just my life on, on, on my page. Um, but I went and, you know, checked out their profile and I, yeah, their logo was awesome. I ended up listening to a few songs. Um, and so I accepted it and then they follow, you know, then and followed them back. But these guys are out of, um, I think, Ottawa, Ontario, Canada um dirty nice. rock and roll um i have some similarities that already had popped in my mind instantly that i'll mention here in just a bit but nice. um just ripping guitars yeah the logos the photos dude they got such cool photos like i just you know i wish I, you know maybe we should take that grimy rock and roll approach at some point for a photo <laughs> shoot because it's just kick-ass dude <laughs> that'd be killer yeah so like yeah dude they're, they're so the band's called in heat the song's called bow down bow down the album is called Fixed. <laughs> we yeah. put in heat and fixed together. I'm just thinking about cats. Like I don't know. <laughs> well, what's on the uh, the cover? It looks like a little, like a dog or a cat. Oh, it's a cat. Yeah, so it's, it's on purpose. Cat. It's on purpose. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's check it out. That's fucking rad. It sounds like Story of the Year doing like a rock and roll song. And yeah. then that, that, that voiceover thing made me think of The Offspring. There's that and then there's... Yeah. Um, do you remember um, there was a Guttermouth song that did that too? And um, real similar. And, and so right off the bat, you know... Um, what I hear in this band is Russian girlfriends, you know, oh, our, our, lo- yeah, our, lo- totally. our local, local Albuquerque, our buddies. Um, they totally have that, a really similar rock and roll sound um, that kicks yeah, ass. But, right. uh, um, and I got another reference for when the, from when, when the chorus comes in here. So Let's I'll throw that out in just a bit, but yeah, yeah definitely reminds me of uh, like uh, that intro reminded me definitely of Joe Biafra, you know, from the dead Kennedys. Yeah, but it also mm-hmm. reminded me of like the Vandals, something that they would do, something kind of a little bit goofy, definitely gutter mouth. So it definitely got the the punk vibe going. It, but it was, but it was like also like almost Guns N' Roses. Like, Dude, yeah, was, that's like, what I, was like, going. I, was, I thought that. That's what I was thinking. It, it, it's 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 like a clash of some cool worlds. So sick, dude. So sick. I love it, dude. So the uh, that was that, killer. Six, six. <laughs> they, they, yeah. they just like pull out all the stops, dude. Like we're going yeah. hard. It's like a mesh of like a bunch of stuff. That 
the riff during the the chorus is a total like acdc riff like that's what i hear right right, yeah, right there on that yeah. piece too but yeah the, those those gang vocals and then just throwing in the 666 just like <laughs> and then he said give your soul to the devil <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean these guys are no doubt the, the full package dude like this would yeah. be a band i would be super stoked to see live like they gotta well, be gonna, a really fun live band dude i know but, we're gonna hear it again but i still want to bring it back because just that was that was so cool So sick, dude. Get back, paint it black. Six, six, six. Give me soul to the devil. <laughs> that was killer. I'll say it once again, my friends. One more time. Oh, nice. My brother's got a I like this. this dog's gonna have his day. So it's very fun. Listen, this is what he's gonna say. Yeah, we're blood and thought that. Yeah, I mean, it's incredibly obvious that all the players in the band are, like, super solid. Like, super solid. Like, everything's really tight. It yeah. sounds... But it sounds... It's sounds a great raw. recording, too, man. Yeah, the, like the production really on it. It's really nice. I mean, I think I've mentioned it before, but the test for me of a good, good recording is if it sounds good in my truck. Because my truck's got a really shitty stereo. So when I hear something, like, clean in there, <laughs> which is crazy because that's an expensive truck, dude. And it's like, the stereo freaking blows. But um, yes, yeah, I, I had this on. Got ripped. I did, I did, no doubt. But yeah, I had this on earlier. Really, like, Damn, this sounds really good. And I do hear the Russian girlfriend's reference vocally quite a bit, and I love to like. I mean, there's nothing like a, a, a gritty rock and roll song like this where they, uh, you know, I don't know how many takes. Sometimes they, they might run a bunch of takes, but like those vocals, they crack in all the right places. Yeah. Like, yeah, they, they, they give, and there's a lot of aggression that comes with that. It's very cool. I don't know if you guys ever heard this, but Jeremy, old drummer, my old drummer in Left Unsaid, um, was playing in a band with a guitar player from Guar called U.S. Bastards. And mm -hmm. it's a real real similar, just grimy rock and roll vibe. Um, we, these guys totally make me think of that, too. But that's, their record's really killer, dude. But, um, yeah, that was a kind of crazy relationship because they ended up touring with Guar as the opening act. That's crazy. Yeah, you had mentioned uh, story of the year and the singer yeah. of the story of the year. He's in the band. Uh, his other band is called, I think, oh, the, the yeah. fuck off and dies. The fuck off and dies. Yeah, yeah, and they're kind of like this vibe. Totally nice. Yeah, Great name. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great gang vocal. Yeah, I think it like Kiss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Sick. You can tell they dominate live. Oh, like man. they dominate, you know. Like they yeah. open up with this song, you know, like all the other bands are like, man, we shouldn't even have played tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. 
Right on, man. That was killer, man. Dude, these guys only have like 73 monthly listeners. Wow. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if they're new or not. And, and, you know, that's why, uh, when I went and checked out their page, you know, it's, I, I think it's always great how the majority of the bands we're picking are kind of a, a similar level, level followership wise. But I'm you just know? surprised that they're um, not like a but, much, much more popular. They're out. This album came out, uh, like a week later than our EP. And, wow. uh, yeah, man, like go listen to these guys. Yeah, that sounds they're, they're, they're great. Like, <laughs> yeah, way yeah. More. So cheers, dudes. Let's kill her. Yeah, yeah, that was great. That was fantastic. I mean, it's like Motley Crue as a punk band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like if you could imagine Motley Crue as a punk band, I think that that's what it would sound like for that's, sure. That's a good thing. I like that intro, how he's like announcing the band like that in the beginning of the verse. Yeah. It reminded me of like early Guns N' Roses, kind of what you were saying. Um, like when they used to play shows in the early days, they would say, they'd have someone else announce it. I don't know who it was, but they'd be like, you wanted the best. Well, they didn't fucking make it. So here's what you get <laughs> from Hollywood. Guns N' Roses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got that, that hype guy. Yeah, dude, that was pretty cool. All right, so this next song is from a band that is from San Francisco, and they have some similar influences to us. Well, they mentioned Alice in Chains as one of their influences. I, I saw that they actually did a cover of Them Bones, uh, which was very cool. But uh, yeah, like a couple of the bands we're doing today actually just popped up on my Instagram feed. Um, not all of those ads that you get for bands are actually good. Um, but like when this one came out, uh, came across my feed, I thought it was very cool. I think it was first, the first thing that popped up was a teaser uh, for this video that had like a little bit of the intro riff and it caught my attention enough to check these guys out and, and, uh, and wait for the single to drop because I thought that we might end up listening to it. So this band is from San Francisco. They're called Cold Shoulder. And the song we're going to listen to is called uh, Be Patient. So be patient while I press play here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Like those drums, yeah. I like that guitar tone on the palm mutes there. Yeah, yeah. Bass is beefy. voice yeah he does have a great voice so i hear i hear the alice in chains in that definitely riff. Boom, banana, da, bar, yeah bar. there's a that bend like that boom banana, da, bar, that mm. has some alice in chains and then there, there's some great but alice in chains brought a lot of this too alice in chains especially on their earlier mm. stuff like on facelift they brought a lot of the 80s influence with them like you could mm. hear that those guys were listening to motley mm. crew and and rat and all that stuff like i mean obviously they were taking it in a darker direction and stuff um like some of the other seattle bands like mother love bone and stuff but like there's some 80s cool stuff happening in that chorus like that chorus sounds like a big um 80s metal chorus to me i'm i'm definitely hearing some tom morello too in, in that guitar riff too oh, yeah, it almost remind, reminds me a little bit of killing in the name you know that little that little thing at the end, um, and, but it's definitely got that sound. I think it's definitely got the sound of old Alice mm-hmm. in Chains, maybe even some old Soundgarden in there too. Yeah, I hear it. I like how the song comes out of the gate swinging. It's great. Like that riff just comes in really big. Like it's funny because it makes me think every time I picture it, I picture the teaser 
video that popped up and like you got to watch the music video because like that that riff kicks in and like just this door swings open and this dude comes in looking all pissed off and it's the singer <laughs> like and he just looks like he's there to like wreck somebody man like he whips <laughs> the door open he whips the door open like he's so angry and he's just like walking through this warehouse like and he meets up with the other band members as they're jamming and stuff and he's singing the song it's pretty Thanks. cool um, I think that one of the things I read about these guys, speaking of the last band, we were talking about bands that like to have fun and don't take themselves too seriously. I think that they said, you know, that they're like a hard rock band with a healthy dose of fun and nice. just like having it, having a good nice. time, um, which there's a lot to be said for that. Like, you know, rock guys that don't take themselves too damn seriously, but um, it's, it's good stuff. Don't you think you could picture it kind of on facelift a little bit like that era? Like mm -hmm. if you got, if you had Lane singing on something like that, you, it would, it would kind of sound, it would sound like an Alice in Chains song. I think it's the tone. I think the, the, the guitar tone and, and that bass is killer. Sounds good. Yeah. It reminds me of a uh, silver chair. Oh yeah. The, mm. the vocal. Mm -hmm. The sun. Yeah. Yeah. Because it has like that. all those really like dark, powerful, heavy riffs going on with like a like a higher timber in the vocal. Mm -hmm. Full harmony. Like, see that vocal, that's like fucking Bon Jovi. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like that's like living on a prayer type back vocal, right? It sounds great. It sounds yeah, great. It's like, and it's very cool. Like they're blending stuff that uh that maybe, you know, there's something novel there. I fucking hear like Skid Row oh. in his vocal there. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sick. Filter. Did like all of a sudden they sound? Yeah, I, yeah. Heard, I, I yeah, I heard that a little bit. <laughs> but I actually heard, but the tone sounds so much like Wood, like the beginning of Wood yeah. by Allison Chains. Oh yeah. Like, did you hear that? Like, uh, yeah, that, back it part, up to where that starts. Let's, yeah, when that let's part see. drops. Sounds awesome. It's a very cool change. Wow. That's cool. That's very Allison Chains too. Yeah. So I know we're calling you guys on a lot of this Allison Chains stuff, which you're probably loving. I mean, because Allison Chains is amazing. Um, but uh, yeah, like we like we have a song that we totally like. Well, we have plenty of music actually that isn't even released yet that is very Allison Chains influenced. We love them too. So. Don't think we're just like calling you on. Oh, these guys sound like Allison Chase. They're gonna listen to Blessings if they put that on. They'll be like, "You guys like went harder than we ever went." <laughs> like, on, like on, on trying, trying to sound like Allison Chase. <laughs> that was that was very cool. That like, yeah, like that was that was that was Lane Staley ish too. But I mean. I almost feel like Lane was probably influenced by James Hetfield a little bit, like with some oh, yeah, of that, no that, doubt. that heavier stuff, you know, right here. Yeah. I almost feel like I just wanted to hear that louder in the mix, though, when he said that. Dude, that guitar sounds yeah, really good. I, I agree, too. Really good. That guitar sounds killer. Yeah. 
sick solo. That was like, like slash tone right there. Yeah. Let's go back. That was like a slash <clears throat> guitar sounding solo right there. Nice. Dude, that's rad. Yeah. That's cool. Do you hear that really high note he's singing in the background? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I just tuned into that. That's that's impressive, dude. Like he's holding that like mm -hmm. really steadily. Watch. Yeah. That's awesome. High harmony is sick. That was sick. Did you hear that? Yeah, dude. That was like some darkness shit there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was very high. <laughs> the darkness. Out. I mean, the darkness is amazing. Oh, yeah, that guy can sing too. That ending there, yeah, that was, that was rad. I just wanted to. There, you know, there's a few of the, there's a few of those bands like like the Darkness and uh, there's that 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 newer band that is kind of along those lines. Like they they dress similarly, like they look like they're straight out of the late '60s or the '70s. Oh, um, um, Greta Van Fleet. Yes, band? the Led like, Zeppelin yeah, sounding and like, band. And yes, mm -hmm. but like they, they freaking kill. Like they yeah. sound so good. Like, yeah. and I mean, and the thing is like, they seem like, they seem like, uh, out of place because it's almost like they fit perfectly into a different decade. Mm -hmm. Nobody would have been making fun of them then. They Where just they would have been those dominating. Clothes, dude? Where do they find those clothes? That's like, dude, what I want to know. stores. Yeah. I would not be surprised like if like one of their crew like didn't go to college to learn how to design clothes because they couldn't find the clothes right. they wanted to wear, you know. Yeah. There's actually a skateboarder uh, named Richie Jackson that's just insanely creative and does all kinds of like really cool off the wall tricks um, different than everybody else. But he dresses exactly like the Greta Van Fleet guys and he has long hair and he has like the curly, mustache. The curly mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I mean, at first, like I saw Greta Van Fleet. I know we're digressing, guys, but like your your song "Killed," we really enjoyed it. Um, but I saw the Greta Van Fleet guys on SNL, and uh, I, I, you know, I, I kind of chuckled a little bit. But like, I've paid a little more attention to them in the last few months, and I'm just like, they're just so freaking good, man. Like they're just and they're like young kids too. Yeah, they're that's very not, young. That's... Yeah. Yeah. But I think these guys in Cold Shoulder are pretty young uh, compared to us, so we're jealous. You guys sound great. Yeah, the only <laughs> thing that gets me about Greta Van Fleet, and this may or may not be true, and it probably isn't, they almost seem like a, a, a record label made band, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that would be a bummer, uh, I guess. To if me, manu if, yeah. they, if they're not, if they're not really in it, you know. Yeah. Um, mm. But uh, I don't know. Like I, I feel like they are. You know, like. Yeah, I mean, especially and as the darkness has gone on, it had less comic, you know, appeal and yeah. more like it just sounds like wow, these guys sound like a modern day queen or something. Yeah, um, yep. That dude though sounds exactly like Robert Plant. I mean, I don't, it's it's nuts. Yeah, that's <laughs> <It's> freaking crazy, <laughs> uh, man. I mean, they are good, dude. Singer. Don't get me wrong, they're good. Yeah, I, I would take sounding like Robert Plant. <laughs> <laughs> 
ain't a bad thing. Uh, That's right. I wouldn't have a day job. That'd be for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right on, guys. Well, congratulations, Cold Shoulder. That was their most recent single. I hope it does really well for you guys. Check out the video if you haven't seen it yet. It, it's a very entertaining video. And, uh, yeah, I think I saw that uh, they just uh, they just bounced over a 1,000 streams on that song. But it's going to get much, much more. It's a great song. Uh, congratulations, guys. That was really good. All right, for this next track, we actually owe our first introduction to these guys to our friend Brad from Signal Chords. Shout out to Brad. Um, he's, he showed us this band probably maybe a month or so ago and uh, mentioned that it was his friend that was in this band, the, the dude that helped out. I guess he has a sticker company as well. He made the stickers for Down With The Syndrome. And, um, right. But he showed us this band. They sounded great. They hadn't had anything that was recent. I think their most recent stuff was like 2016, but he said they were working on new material. I'm scrolling through Instagram the other night, like everybody else that other night, and they probably came across the same thing maybe. But this ad popped up of this band's most recent single, and I was like, oh, shit, this is the band that Brad was telling us about. So this is uh, the band Copper Bones. Um, they're from Florida, and this is their most recent song. It's called Bottom Feeder. This one, this one comes out swinging too. It's pretty killer. This is a two-person band. Sick. So, like, I think it's. I think it might just be bass and drums. I don't know how oh, they're wow. doing that. I, now I am not you're you're bigger into this band than I am Eric but I feel like I hear helmet yeah it's definitely got I would say it's got a helmet influence in the the riffing for sure um, even now the melodic vocals coming over the top of it but I'm not as familiar with mm -hmm. helmet it's just a few things that I've heard from him but uh I, I, I can see that in, was, yeah there's something to his voice that I can't put my finger on yet, like who it reminds me of, but yeah, it's great. Shopping words, spilling lies. You sold yourself, bottom feeder. You'll always be a bottom feeder. You'll never get the best of me. That's sick. There's a little bit of thrice in the vocals and the chorus. Yeah, I hear that. I hear, I hear a little bit of Dustin Kenzer in that. So it is, yeah, it is a bass guitar. It's bass, bass and drums. Um, I popped on the Instagram. Holy shit, you see this guy's beard? It is freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, I'll throw him up on the screen right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so dude. Can see <laughs> yeah, it is killer. I, I'm really enjoying this, dude. So thanks, Brad, for this introduction. I mean, I just, I love the full, you know, the whole two-piece band thing with bass and, and and drums there's just so many bands that do it so well like just and and some of the tones that are coming out of this um and, and some of the things done with the bass guitar dude i have no idea what you use or what that yeah. stuff is just kind of beyond my comprehension to whatever effects are in there to get those sounds um yeah. you know i i don't think it's a similar style of music but like death from above 1979 royal blood those bands so that good. just have a bassist and a drummer um pull it off really well and these guys no doubt are, are in that same you know league mm -hmm. i love that oh, that's a little killer. harmonic Nice. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I like that. Heavy as shit. I love that chord. Nice. I love that chord, man. That like, yeah. that chord always makes me think of like I've played so much stuff with that chord. I've never actually I don't know if I've ever written a song with that chord, but I love noodling around with that chord. It always reminds me of like that great era of screamo. Totally. Like the the like those really emotional chords and stuff, like dead poetic and stuff like that's what that stuff reminds me of. But like this is metal as fuck though. Well and, and, and you mentioned that and I'm still scrolling their Instagram and there's a flyer for a show that they played with Sparta. So well, if you guys remember wow. Sparta, X out the drive-in, um, mm-hmm. which which in Lefton said we actually played with Sparta and Bad Religion um, at one point. But um, I think this, you know, saying that, I think there's a tie between the two genres, right? Like these guys yeah. could easily be on a build with a band like that. And they were, right? <laughs> That turned my beer into whiskey. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was killer. That was killer. That was sick. They sound so, it's so heavy. It's such a full sound. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's probably like gearheads, man, that are coming up with these ways to do these things. Because um, I think that, I can't remember the name of the band, Dexia. Do you remember the name of that band that opened up for Stone Temple Pilots in Boulder? Uh-uh. They were from Vegas. If I th- if I can find the name, I'll put it in here. But like I think they were called like the Dirty something or it was not Lenny the, not knew the, them. Yeah, but yeah. anyhow, like they were a huge sounding band, three piece, two guitar players, and but you could tell hmm. that something they were doing to their their with through their effects and stuff. One of them was taking the bass, and they were alternating. You know who yeah. was taking uh, taking cool. the low end you know um on the songs and it's just sounded freaking huge and then you have these bands coming out that are just a bass player and a drummer but they sound like there's a guitar playing with the bass like it's it's crazy we don't play the bass like like, yeah they play their bass (laughs) like it's a a guitar right and and yeah they're they're getting they're getting that really good rhythm tone um, yeah dude that's nice and and the low end yeah it's I love this stuff, man. And do you guys ever watch that rig rundown show? It's, it's, yeah. I think there's a bunch of episodes. Yeah. There's a really cool one. Um, yeah. And and you talk about gearheads, dude, like some of these bands on there, like, um, there's actually one with the bass player, um, Jesse from death from above 1979. And his setup is just nuts, dude. Like, it's just, it's so complicated. Like his amp head was like from, it was like some antique, right? Or something like that. Yeah, I, th- I think, yeah, it was something just crazy vintage like that. And he's just like, y'all, if anyone has one, wants to sell it, I'll pay whatever you want. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember. That's yep. cool. Well, congratulations, dudes. It sounds killer. Again, that was the band Copper Bones, their new song, Bottom Feeder. Uh, I hit up Brad the other day and he said they have some more new tunes coming. So, very excited nice. to hear more from these Fighting. guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so keep doing it, guys. Can't wait to hear it. I like those guys. I love those guys.
Thanks so much for hanging out with us, everybody. We really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the bands that we checked out. Definitely check out our four song EP that's out right now on all the streaming services. Uh, if you're into grunge and metal, uh, grungy, hard rock, metal, uh, we have influences, you know, range from like Alice in Chains, Nirvana, Soundgarden, all those bands, Stone Temple Pilots. We really love them. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm rambling. Check it out. We hope you do. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Peace, everybody. I had fun hanging out with you. Make sure to click the subscribe button to submit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are some good outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't say subscribe two times in a row. <clears throat> All right.